All right, today we are here with Melissa Johnson. Melissa is an entrepreneur, a real estate investor. She's flipped over a thousand homes and we've been working together for a couple of months and your life has completely changed course from the time we met, started talking and started working together. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing and how that transformation came about? Sure, so um, I was flipping houses for 17 years. That's a long time. And you know, it just, I knew that I wanted to do something else. So flipping houses has always been great and it's been great for the family and everything, but it was never something that was really my dream kind of a thing. Um, I always knew that I wanted to help people, but I wasn't really sure how that was really supposed to look. You know, a long time ago, I thought I might want to be a social worker or something like that. I just, I knew I wanted to help people. And as the years went by, you know, started getting out there more, started talking to more people, being parts of masterminds, things like that. I realized that I was really enjoying having conversations, helping people with their business, kind of what they were going through. And just based on the experiences that I've already been through with the business. And so when COVID hit and everything shut down, it was really a time for me of reflection just to figure out, okay, this is, everything stopped now, you know? So this is a great time to sort of rethink things and figure out what I wanna do. And I decided that I really wanted to help people and coach them through starting a business and running a business, improving their business, having a good foundation. And that's when I reached out to you and we kind of started talking about what that might look like. And it's been really fun evolving that into a full-time coaching business as well as still running my real estate business too. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's interesting because you were in a place where you knew you wanted something, you knew you wanted to do something new or different, but you weren't quite sure what it, what it was or how it was gonna look and who your clients were gonna be and, and all that kind of stuff. But you know, at the end of the day, what you were after was impact. You had a desire to make an impact. You know, we're here for a short time, we can make money, we can do deals, you know, all that's great, but at a point, it's not enough, right? We were created for impact. So how does that feel now to know that in a few short months, you've started this whole new business, you've got clients coming in, you know, just reaching out to you, and you're impacting their lives, but more importantly, impacting, helping them impact through what you're doing with them into their community and, and others as well. Yeah, it's been awesome. I, I have really, really loved, you know, I remember that one of our first conversations, I think you had told me, you know, I was kind of roaming and figuring out stuff in my head and we were talking. And then when you said that, though, when you said you want to make an impact and I was like, light bulb, <laughs> yeah. that's exactly what I want. And yeah, it's just been really interesting seeing, you know, putting content out there, starting to put myself out there a little bit more talking about this and then figuring out what that exactly is going to look like. And it's changed even in the few months that we've been working together. It started as kind of one thing and it sort of developed into something else. And um, that process has been really great. And it's been really great working with you, having somebody that's been through the process to kind of, you know, hold my hand a little bit through it. Cause this is not a real estate business. If that was the case, it'd be easy, but a coaching business is a different type of business. So yeah. Yeah, every business is different. The process is, is similar. The fundamentals are the same. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's in the coaching business, especially, is, a, is something that kind of seems to move and evolve and grow as you grow with it. And, you know, um, I still think, you know, well, we know that you're still just kind of scratching the surface of where you're ultimately going and what you're creating and what that's going to look like. For sure. Yeah, yeah. It's been fun too, just figuring out that process and watching the goal get higher and higher. You know, at first it was just, you know, I want, I just want to do this thing. And then it developed into, let's make some courses and let's, you know, now let's do maybe something even bigger. And so the scale of the dream has really grown also, which I yeah. think is pretty exciting. The scale of the impact and the income. And, you know, that's what's really cool too. So, you know, initially when we first started talking, you know, um, when you look at the investment in a program like this, it's like, man, that's a lot. But how do you feel about the ROI on that investment? I think it's been great. Really do. I mean, just with minimal effort, I've already brought in several clients without even, 
we haven't even started. <laughs> yeah. Really. yeah, you haven't really tried yet. You're just doing organic stuff, just mm -hmm. a little bit of the stuff that we kind of inching you along towards because you got to kind of figure it out before you throw gasoline on it. You want to make sure you're oh, in the sure. right lane, you have the right clientele, you know what you want to do, figure out your offer, you know, what people are looking for. And then once you've got all that dialed in, then you can then you can start putting some money behind it and horsepower behind it and you know automate and scale to whatever level you want. So it's it's really an interesting business model that I don't, you know, a lot of people want to do it, but don't really know how to do it and all the steps to go through it. And, um, you know, now that you've been through the entire process from start to finish, you're helping other people do the same thing now, aren't you? I am. I am. And it's so fun. You know, I have to tell you, I love all of my clients, everybody that I've worked with so far. It's funny how you attract, you know, like-minded people and, and the things that you, you never know what's resonating with people. And that's the other thing I find really interesting you know, you can put a piece of content or something out there and talk to people about what you're doing. But when you actually can see and hear the results of that, you know, and, and really connect with people, I think that's been the best part of it. It's just the people that I've come in contact with and that have had the opportunity to work with has been really awesome. There's great people. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, a, and that's why I'm doing these series. So with all of my clients I'm working with right now doing different things, I'm, I'm doing these interviews. So because not everybody's going to resonate with me, not everybody's going to want to hire me or work with me. And you know, you might be a better fit for somebody. And so my other clients might be a better fit. So um, tell me a little bit about who you who your ideal client is, what you're helping people with. Um, and you know, what, uh, what people that may be looking for somebody can reach out to you for. So, you know, my ideal client is somebody, and th these are people that I'm already working with too. So it's, that's been pretty easy, but, um, you know, people that are motivated, they are willing to put the work in and above everything else, I think just understanding that this doesn't happen overnight. You know, we're not gurus. We're not, you know, those type of people. If you want to treat this like a business, you have to treat it like a real business. You have to put in the work you have to do the foundational things and those are the type of people that i want to work with you know the people that they understand that you know they understand this isn't a get rich quick thing it's not <laughs> that is so yeah. completely false it take i mean it took me 17 years to get to you know flipping close to a thousand houses that wasn't yeah that's a long yeah. time <laughs> I've been at it since 1997 so as of this recording you know it's 25 years in and that's before my entrepreneurial journey began and then I, I, you know, had uh, 1985 to 97 where I was, you know, Navy for four years, corporate world in and out, you know, different jobs doing different things. So yeah, it's a lifelong journey to get to the point to where you can actually help other people, mentor, guide, coach other people. And that's what's interesting is that it is a business. A lot of people don't think of it as a business, just like real estate investing. So you, you coach people that want to, you know, do real estate investing, flip houses, you know, that type of thing, as well as people that want to maybe do a coaching business or people that just have, you know, you have somebody who's, who's a therapist or something, right. Or, or, you know, that needs help in that practice. So mm -hmm. it's different things, but the key fundamental to all of it is, is that these are businesses. These are not hobbies. They're not side gig. These are businesses. Right. Right. And you have to treat it as such. You have to respect it as a business and understand that it's, it's not always so easy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But when you have coaching and mentoring, I mean, I really feel like it makes a huge difference. I feel like that's, that changed the trajectory of both of my businesses, you know, house flipping, I had a mentor and then, you know, I've had several business coaches and now you're coaching me through setting up a coaching business myself. So I think that doing it alone, you can do it, but it, it's going to take you so much longer to get there. And I think when you have help and you've got somebody that's already been through it that you can kind of lean on, I think that it's smart to take advantage of that. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, been there, done that, proven business model. And, you know, I work with people all over the world doing all kinds of different things from real estate development, investing, you know, commercial multifamily. What's really cool is a lot of the people I'm working with on the real estate front, I'm also working with on the business side as well in their other companies. Some of them are medical professionals, some of them have marketing companies, you know, some of them have coaching businesses. So it's really interesting how we start out with real estate with me. A lot of people reach out for the real estate thing, but then we end up getting into the entrepreneurial side and the business thing. And, you know, that's, that's what's really neat is, and you've experienced the same thing where you've had clients reach out to you for one thing and then it, you know, evolves into these other areas and it's, you know, it's, it's really awesome. It's, it's neat. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's been interesting watching that too. Cause they're, they, they're going through kind of the same thing that I went through some of them. You know, yeah. one of my clients, she signed up for real estate coaching, but she also wanted to be a life coach. And we ended up putting the real estate on the back burner and we're working on developing her life coaching business right now. Yeah. You know, Cause that's where her passion really is. But real estate is such a great vehicle to get you to those points. So yeah. And, you know, build businesses that generate cash flow to invest in other assets. So the other assets can be real estate, that can be businesses, you know, so it kind of all works together. Exactly. Yeah. I've got one client right now that that is a goal for her is to invest in other businesses. So real mm -hmm. estate's going to be the way to get her there. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, that's awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out today to kind of tell people what you're doing and, you know, how coaching has impacted, you know, your life and, you know, before me even, you know, you've been just like me, I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in coaching, mentorships, you know, programs, all that kind of stuff. And it, it is important. It's key. I mean, that's, I wouldn't be where I'm at and wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without all of that in my life. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Seeking, out the right can. Go ahead. <laughs> Seeking out the right people. Exactly. You are who you surround yourself with. And if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. You're in the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, where can people find you? Give us all your details and how people can reach out. Sure. I think the easiest, best way is through my website. It's themelissajohnson.com. Uh, so that's the website. It's got all the contact info and all my social links are there. I'm on uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, all those links are there. And you have a podcast. And I have a podcast and that is on there as well. It's the E3 podcast where we talk about um, encouraging, educating, and empowering business people. Entrepreneurs. Cool. Awesome. Well, Melissa, thanks for um, carving out a few minutes today. I know you're busy and uh, I will talk to you soon. Thank you.